I don't think he's gonna do nothing. We got our lure though. Beautiful redfish. Gotta give him a little love, right? Look at this. Oh my gosh. My man is on. We're tight. 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 What do we got? Little schnookums. Here, get them over here. Oh, look at that. Look at dude. Kind of, kind of foggy. It's early in the morning out here. Check that out. See you, buddy. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Keel. Kyle, you. we call him Keel. We're gonna call him Keel in this video, but his name's actually Kyle. Keel just caught a nice little snook. He's actually caught three snook already. I'm here with the fly rod up in the front of the boat. We're trying to explain things really fast. We just got set out here, um, set up on the boat in Flamingo. Like I said, Keel's already caught three fish as I'm sitting here getting the camera ready for you guys. I didn't want to get the camera out this early, but I figured we got to show you guys what's happening. It's a beautiful day, flat, calm, wind is low. We're gonna try to get some fish right now here in the Florida Everglades. Hopefully we'll get on some fish. If we do, then you guys are gonna see it. We got a tailing redfish right here, it looks like. See him? Yep. That might do it. And we're on guys, on the fly, hooked up, he's taking off. So many fish out here. Literally, right after taking that clip, doing my intro for you guys, got inhaled by this red here on the flat. You can catch so many different species of fish here, so you never know what you're gonna come up on. Oh, look at oh, that. Dude, nice fish, dude. Good fish. For some of you guys that don't know, I do tie my own flies and I love fishing. It gets me closer to nature. And although I do love animals, I also love to eat fish and I love coming out here. I don't think we're gonna keep this guy though. Check this out. Beautiful redfish right there. We're gonna get the hook out and we're gonna let you go, buddy. Thank you for thank you for uh, giving us a little visit here. And this is just the beginning, guys, so we're gonna see what else we can catch. Let's let you go, buddy. Oh, we got some line there. And we're tight. There we go. We didn't get the bite. Been trying to get the eat for you guys. Let's get him to the boat. Come on, turn him over. These fish fight so hard, which is what makes them so sought after to fish them. And they also taste very good. We're not gonna keep this guy today. I don't know if he's of size anyway. Trying to get him to the boat maybe a little quicker than uh, I should. But I'll get this down here. Nothing like, whoa, nothing like fly fishing. I tie my own flies using my own natural materials. And uh, then you present it out in front of the fish. They think it's a little natural bait. And they just slurp it right up. It's about the same size as the last one. We're gonna let you go in a second. There you go. Beautiful redfish. Oh, you hear that? They call it the red drum because he's drumming, he's making that drum noise. Here you go, bye buddy. Look at that, and he just disappears in there. Perfectly camouflaged, meant to hunt in this area. Let's get another one. Keel's getting his rod ready. I'm on the push pole up here, standing up here on the platform. Look at that shadow. Keel's on. Finally, dude. His head was buried in this grass. You guys see, we're so shallow right now. We're here on the John boat. Good old John boat. Let's get down from here. The fish come up on these flats and you can see their tails sticking out. You see them busting on the surface and they're eating crabs and shrimp and all sorts of little fish. And as we stand up here on this platform, we uh, can spot them a little easier with the height advantage. And finally, Keel was able to get one on the fly rod. The last one he got was on the spinner. Let's get him to the boat. Oof, that's a good fish. That's bigger than mine. You! Keel finally got him on the long rod. We had so many shots either. The fish, they spun on the bait, they'd miss it. Sometimes the cast was right on him a little too close. It would spook him. 
they get kind of freaked out when a fly lands right on them. The lure lands right on them. Just a gorgeous fish. Got that beautiful spot down there, bluish color on his tail. Look at him. Just gonna, oh, he's good to go. Look at that. He just disappears. disappears. Guys, this water is not very deep. It's about only that deep. Probably a foot. That is crazy. Look, I oh, it's right again. here. He caught him. He just wants to hang out with us. He's going to take off. You! Sweet. It's still super early out here. It was trying to be a little quieter uh, as we were fishing because you don't want to spook these fish. Your voice, boat noise, anything can spook these guys. So you got to be really sneaky. But um, Keel just caught two. I just caught two redfish. And before that, we caught three snooks. So how many fish is that? One, two, three, four, seven? seven? You got seven? Fish. Seven fish this early in the morning. We're gonna push in probably a little closer to the mangroves in a bit, but we still got a bunch of fish out here. So let's see what we catch next. There you go. There he is. This one did oh tell yeah. This fish. Look at that, guys. He's drumming, drumming hard. Oh, he is drumming. Doom, doom, doom. Look at that. Finally, we missed a couple. Oh. <laughs> we didn't want to come in the boat just yet. You act like you've never done this before, Keel. First timer. First time, beautiful redfish. A golden, reddish orange color. Gotta get some pictures. You gotta revive him, so move him back and forth so he gets breathing again. And he's ready to go, right there. Woo! Got another nice red. This one, be, this one's definitely bigger. This is a nice fish. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Don't get scared of the boat now. Wow! He molly whopped that one. That one's a little bigger. Oh! Crushed it. Look at that. Beautiful. Got to give him a little love, right? We'll let him go after we get this hook out and keep going. And we got another one. Woo! There you go. Guys, look at this. We literally, here, Keel, Keel, come up here. I'm getting all twisted up. This is crazy. Look at this. We've got a snake here. He's trying to go back. He's trying to go back to his home. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, buddy. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. So Keel was casting and he hooked this mangrove over here. We're actually, we've moved across the bay we're in the Florida Keys now, and we have this beautiful red rat snake. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. These guys are really sweet most of the time, and he could even, he could even put them right here. I don't think he's gonna do nothing. Look at that. You see that checkered pattern? That's why they call, call him a corn snake. Other name for him is a red rat snake because he's got that brilliant red and orange pattern on him. We got our lure, though. Uh, a lot of times when you hook the mangroves, if your lure breaks off, go get it. He's all tangled up in my glasses here. Let's see. Are we going to let you go, buddy? I didn't even, I didn't even know these guys were out here on these little islands. But, um, yeah, he's going to go right back there. Look at that. Look at him go. Woohoo! First ever Florida Keys rat snake while fishing. That is sweet. We find water snakes out here a lot of times, red water snakes that look like this. I don't know why there's so many red things. Red mangroves, red water snakes, red rat snakes, red fish. Everything's red for some weird reason. Anyhow, he's gonna go, he's gonna be hunting rats in these mangroves. He's already cruising through there. Look, he's way back, oh, oh, oh. He's way back up in there. Keel's my new videographer for today. But yeah, guys, super cool. We're at a new spot now. We decided to go back home to the Keys. And so we're gonna fish this little island here. Hopefully we'll get on some snook. Don't know what we're gonna catch. All right, guys, are, are you rolling? Yep, are you I'm rolling? rolling. I'm rolling. I'm guys, rolling. we have a big fish on. Keel's on the camera. I don't know. Dude, it looks like a stick. I think we just got a stick. Can you pull up to it? Nope. 
So a lot of times these sticks fall into the water and like we hooked it earlier, that was a part of the island. But yeah, I think we just snagged, I think we just snagged a stick here, guys. Big old stick. Oh my gosh, dude. No way. No freaking way. It's a snake, it's a python, it's a python, it's a python. Keel, get up here, get up here. Guys, no way. We saw this thing coming out of the water. I thought there was a fish up here, but oh my gosh. Look at this. He's hooked, he's hooked in the side. This is, dude, this is nuts. This is like Snake Island here. Hold on a second, hold on. He's not really fighting too hard. He was fighting before we started the camera. Let's see. He's like just coming up to the boat. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. He's gonna freak out on us. I don't wanna get this hook in me. I'm really sorry, guy. You guys know I wouldn't want to do this to any snake like this. This snake was not supposed to be caught here. And he looked like a stick as we're bringing him in. Oh my goodness, hold on. We're gonna have to get him by the head. We're gonna have to get him by the head. See if he doesn't hurt himself. Ah. We got him here. We've got him. Oh my gosh. This might be the first python ever caught on a fishing rod, dude. This is insane. Keel, look at this. Look at this thing. This thing's like seven feet long, probably. Those hooks are way in him. But I think we just got him in belly, in the belly scales. Now, Basically what happened is we're cruising this island. I cast it into a pocket. I did see a little thing up in there. It might have been his head. It might have been another stick. I don't know. But this is absolutely crazy. There's no way this thing went after this lure. They don't eat fish like that. He probably just got snagged up in it. And we're gonna have to do some surgery right now on this thing, but oh my gosh. Look at that python. That is nuts, dude. Here, let me get let me get a let me get a picture with the reel so everyone knows this is real. Look at this. Now this guy does not seem too phased by this. Luckily, I think we just got him in some skin. Just like hooking a fish, it just kind of hooks him in extra skin here, like a piercing it does for us. Might hurt initially with those nerves, but I think he's all right. We'd never want to harm any animal. We do have to remove this guy from our ecosystem as we do with all pythons. But dude, Keel, this is insane. That's our video right there. I thought we were just gonna come out here for a day of fishing, was trying to capture that for you guys. And the pythons seem to always follow us, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. This python will come home with us now. Check out some of the other videos on the channel if you're new. Subscribe if you did enjoy the videos and you want to check a couple of them out. It would really mean a lot to me. Keel, hit it right there. That was awesome, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.